On today's video, we're going to be knocking out Gordon Ramsay's steak recipe, but we're doing it on the Weber kettle. for you make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing because on today's video you're right man we're knocking out the mother load we have two beautiful ribeyes here about an inch thick inch and an eighth um, we're gonna be throwing them in the cast iron on the Weber and then uh, we're gonna be adding the, uh, the rosemary the thyme the garlic some butter we got some EVOO and got a little uh, uh, avocado oil just as a backup, just in case. Um, but uh, I got the coals going on the Weber. We just need to get them dumped, get the cast iron over there, get it warmed up, and we'll be cooking. We are going to season them with SPG. On Gordon Ramsay's, he did uh, salt and uh, black cracked pepper. Same thing. That's what we're using. You use exactly what you want. It doesn't matter. This is just what we're doing. So let's just go over here and get the cast iron warming up. Is it hot? I'll probably be working it back and forth over the fire, whatnot. We got them sizzling. They're looking beautiful with the SPG. We'll probably flip them in just about a minute. Give them about a minute on this side, then flip them, and then just keep turning them. Then, and then as we start getting closer, that's when we're going to add the butter, the thyme, the rosemary, the garlic, and just start spooning that deliciousness all over. All right, these are looking good. It's been about a minute. Let's go ahead and give them a flip. Woo! Look at that crust, Wesley. Woo, that's hot. I'm gonna pull it over here for a second. Woo! All right, so we're gonna put the lid on. See if that helps them, man. Get that cast iron hot. I think what I did is I turned that one. That was the cool side of the cast iron. That's why we'll have to flip it over and get some better color on that one. Oh yeah, this will be okay. They're only about 60 degrees, 67. We got time. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. I'm figuring about when they hit 105, that's when we'll start gooping them and just drenching them in the booter. All right, it's time to start basting these rigs. Gosh dang, these look good. Look at that crust, man. You tell me, that's crust right there. Oh yeah, son. Alright, so we got them done. We're gonna bring them over here, let them rest. Probably about 10 minutes. We're gonna cut them up and see all this goodness. Alright, so we got them moved over here. This pan is crazy hot. So we're just gonna put them on the cutting board. Let them take a rest. I noticed right there in the middle, man, my thermopin, I think I got it close too close to the fire because it started misreading. And this guy I hit right here, he's dead on. This guy I think jumped over temp a little bit, but you know, you put enough butter and garlic in there. Right, Wes? I'm not mad. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Put a tent on them, give them about 10 minutes and we'll get to eating these suckers. All right, so we're back again. We got these things cut up, tasted, into the video, did all that and then forgot to hit record on this bugger right here. 
So we're gonna do it again. Uh, can you in, can, can you insert some of the cutting? Yeah. <laughs> insert cutting steak right here <laughs> with music. So this steak, we hit it. We nailed the temperature. This one's a little overdone. I don't know what happened here. I, I don't know if I got the probe over the fire at some point and it threw the reading off. But this one is a, I mean, it's, it's still good. It's just a little overdone for me. This one's nailed though. But uh, hey, for the second time, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it for you on camera. But I'm gonna do something, I just figured this out. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it in here. Get a little bit of that on there. You see that? Mm -hmm. This is an absolutely great steak. 100%. The one thing that I'm missing though, I really can't taste the charcoal flavor. You know? I really can't. So if I was to do it again, I'd probably cook the steaks indirect. And then when I go for the sear, I'd put them in the pan, get the sear, and do all that stuff. But the flavor out of that pan is ridiculous. So, hey, leave me a comment down below. Have any of you guys tried to cook a steak like this, the Gordon Ramsay style, and how'd it turn out? All right, so thank you for watching. And as always, make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.